this video is going to be about how to ensure ProPresenter is set up with slide backgrounds, the right um, stage display, timers, um, audience looks and pictures and kind of go over the general format. Um, so I'm going to kind of focus here on double checking the audience look, the stage display on these things. Uh, I'll do a separate video on audio, uh, light key, uh, but these are what I want to kind of focus on for now. Now before I get going in this, I actually want to talk about this format that I have developed for Hope Alive so that we can have a generic system. Now most of this formatting is going to be done um, before you um, ever get there. Like You don't have to memorize this, but I do want you to at least have seen it so you kind of understand the general flow of what we're looking for and kind of if anything that you can see kind of looks abnormal and how to kind of quickly fix it if that's the case um, and really it's very generic the text and lyrics oh, there's one thing about um, the lyrics or text that we'll go over it's very simple to fix mainly if it has too much text how do, can you quickly remedy that in pro presenter and kind of make it where there's fewer words on the screen because some research has shown that really uh, audience audiences tend to respond to uh, slides with 10 or fewer words on them now we can't do that necessarily for uh, verses uh, you know for you know scripture but for lyrics you know we try to hold as close as we can to that 10 word limit as much as possible but not to worry the big thing that you're gonna have to focus on is here on this pictures um, does the picture here look um, and just kind of in that upper right hand corner uh, or is it kind of off center or is it in the middle of the screen because again the pictures have to be shrunken because what the slide is like you can see here in my example this is what ecamm sees and then on top of that we put a prop which would be full screen again this should be done for you but just you know if when you're looking through pictures your slide should look very small like this if it doesn't we know there's an issue i do have a generic size location but anywhere in this general vicinity would be the best in that case just so you kind of see where that's going um, I do have you know more detail on verses and main points um, again like you see right there 10 words or less that's kind of what we want uh, to see again even though I've already done a video on uh, what these are this essentially is kind of what this video is about is getting all these cues set up correctly inside now again this is a little outdated because I don't have light key in here um, but we'll go through it like I said a separate video into that but let's get started with pro presenter all right so in pro presenter I have a song you can see here is my background slide now in my preview you can see that I have um, all three of my screens here now they're all kind of set up doing their own things because I was making sure uh, I had this output because I, I'm not on my church computer anymore I'm on my personal computer so I had to recreate this output view um, so I want to make sure it was actually working before I started this tutorial but what we're gonna do is get in here into this background like what do we need to set up in our cues to make sure that we have everything set up one step one do we have a background in the do we even have a background slide at the beginning of my song here we have death is arrested at the beginning of my song do I have a background slide and if you don't there's two ways to fix this the first way is right here these three dots with these arrows going other ways this is arrangements or in older versions is called sequence now Jack and I we worked uh, very hard to make sure that every song has this background uh, word here and so I can actually put the background at the, at the end as well you know we can drag and drop but that's the quickest way click on sequences and see which sequence am I working with Right, this one I'm working on closing and is there a background sometimes it might be called uh, a just group sometimes we've actually titled it background but um, there is some cases where it's just labeled group but we want a blank slide ultimately is kind of what we want okay um, and like I said we've been trying to get them to where it's actually labeled background but if not what we can do is go into the editor view right here this little pencil um, and my computer, personal computer, is not as powerful as the church's computer, so my computer works a little bit slower than normal. But in this case, I can actually, in my editor view, right here where death was arrested title, I can actually click this little bitty plus sign. It's very hard to see, not this big giant button, because this is going to add something to this slide. Um, and you hit this button right here, and you can actually add a new slide. You can, of course, you can add all these themes if you want to, but just add a new slide. We'll add a generic slide to it. Um, and typically it's going to add it to the bottom of it where we can just simply drag it up real quick 
and voila, now I have a blank slide that I can work with. Again, if you click on this white one, this is where I'm gonna add text, shape, media, um, and any of those things to actually edit the slide itself, and that's not what we want. We just need a blank slide. So, and how I exit the editor view is I go into show again, all right? So that's basically, um, it automatically saves all my changes. So now if I wanna get back to my show, I get to my show, all right? So let me just right click real quick and let me delete this slide because we don't need it. And let's actually get back to what would be normal view. Now, so I have my background in there and now I need to start adding those cues. And typically the very first cue I like to add is the clear action and I want the audio, because I wanna make sure that's done. I wanna make sure I clear out the audio, because if this song has happened, say after our high five time, I need this slide to tell the computer to stop playing sound. So I'm gonna, typically first off, I put clear audio. Now, these don't have to be done in any order. This is just my routine. If I see a blank slide, this is what I do. I just kinda of go down the list. All right, and so the next thing I do is, next on the list is an audience look, and here, this should be slides, but unfortunately, like I said, this is, I was working on ProPresenter 7 um, almost a year ago when we implemented it, and we had some different things, and I haven't updated my personal computer to what we use in the uh, church computer. So the church computer says slides, and that's what we want. We want slides here, but for now, I wanna use song one, because that's what I have designed for this preview over here. Uh, I just haven't changed the title of it. So audience look, I'm gonna make sure it's on slides for my songs. Um, if it's gonna be for a picture, I'm gonna use blanks. If it's a video, then I'm gonna use video, okay? Um, next, stage display, or just stage. And right here you see stage screen number one. I believe on the church computer it's titled um, Back TV. I can't remember exactly what I have it labeled as. Um, but I'm gonna choose, this is a song, so I'm gonna choose song. All right, uh, output preview, I do not need to do anything with output preview, nothing. Just leave it blank or not selected, no change. I believe the, the newest update says no change. It doesn't leave it blank. So you'll see no change here. I'm a little out of date on my updates for ProPresenter 7. So there we go, we have um, stage display. All right, um, and I believe, as of right now, that is it. Okay, now. We'll get into timers and we'll get into action palette, but for typically this is kind of where we'll stop unless we're going to add light key. Again, I'll do another video on that. But now that I click on this slide, you can see how things kind of changed in here. Um, so let's go. Let me change this. I want to change. I'm just randomly changing my looks, and I want to change my song, my stage into something else. So that way. Uh, this is very evident wrong, if that makes sense, my output preview. And so when I click on this slide, it should change everything to a normal preview where we want. Where we have a background on one slide, Ecamm has its gray text and logo, and our back TV has white and yellow text. Now you won't see the white text until you actually click on a text. Um, so just quickly go over to the next slide, and you'll see I have text full screen, I have text on Ecamm, it's really small here because this is designed incorrectly. This is prior to us really working with this. Again, I'm just trying to do a general setup. But you can see on my back TV that I have my white text and my yellow text. So this is kind of the generic setup for a song. So this is what I'm gonna look for on every song. What do I have, okay? And the only thing, the exception here is light key. Do I need to change lights or not? But again, I'll do a separate video on how that works uh, later on. Now, let's say this is a particular, let's say this is a sermon, and we want to change some things up here. Now, in the sermon, I will add my stage, but as, since I've already added my stage, I'm going to come down here to edit actions, and I'm actually going to change my stage display, and I'm going to choose uh, speaking. I believe I have it in the, at the church, I have it called um, sermon, if I remember correctly. Um, but when, now that I changed it, I click, and you'll see that the uh, back TV changes. I actually have a timer now up here, okay? And so how do I adjust that timer? So I right click, I add another action, and I go here to this timer, and I have sermon countdown. And so it's gonna add, it's gonna ask me, okay, sermon countdown, what do you wanna start? Set configuration, it's already set, so I don't need to change anything. Now if I don't, if I have a new sermon countdown, I can actually change what do I want the duration to be, and that sort of thing. But I already have sermon countdown started, so all I wanna do is uncheck that configuration and click off of it anywhere, and now you can see that I have that clock appear. Okay, so now when I click on this slide, you should be able to see the timer start. You can see how now it's starting to do the countdown. Okay, um, 
So how I edit that is right here at the top, there's timers that I've built into our computers and as you see the sermon countdown, and we can do a variety of things how that's going to be. Um, and so if I st make sure overrun is checked, so I can stop this um, and let's change the duration here uh, for, let's just say 10 seconds, okay? And I wanna hit start. So now it's gonna change this. And what I wanted to do is see kind of what that overrun looks like real quick, all right? Um, and this is what your uh, speakers will see. You can see now it really didn't change anything, but just added a minus sign there. So nothing to worry there, but it just allows us to actually keep the time going. So now it counts up so they can see how much time they're over in that case. Now again, not every speaker is comfortable with having this countdown timer on there. So uh, Heath likes the countdown timer because he likes to kind of know where he's at. Um, but if I have a guest speaker, I typically ask, do you want a countdown timer? Again, we don't actually restrict any of our speakers to a, a specific time, but it is good to ask, do you want a timer? Do you not want a timer? Um, because again, that might make them feel pressured and sometimes it's just good information to know. Sometimes all they want is the clock. What time is it? That's what they want to see. And so you don't need the timer at all. So just kind of be wise and, and just ask, what do you need? What would you like? Okay, so that's kind of the countdown timer. I do want to go over one more thing with you and so that you are aware with it. All right, so if I right click and I add action, you noticed uh, we have this action palette. Okay, uh, and this brings up another menu. Again, pardon my slow computer, but this brings up another computer or another window that I can actually drag these buttons to a variety of places, all right? And this is basically all the different cues that my computer is set up with to use. Um, and right now I don't have the communication activated so you won't see that typically uh, work. But I can add audio, I can do audio input, video input, um, I can even do a playlist. So these are a variety of things that we can do. Here's all my clear actions. I can clear the audio only. I can even clear the background so that my text is still there but my background's not there. Um, props this is going to be probably one of the bigger ones that you use so after a picture we need to make sure there's a clear prop uh, cue so that way it clears out the overall picture um, again I wish I had let me I, I was ill prepared I didn't think about this I don't think I have a uh, presentation it doesn't look like I have announcements on my personal computer so I apologize um, but after a picture you need to have a clear prop up there because again, um, if you go back to the PDF and go back to my example here with this picture, Ecamm, our live stream software, they see this teeny tiny picture. That way they can see the presenters still while the picture is going. But the church, the audience in the, in the church, they don't need to, they can't read this picture. So what we do is we put a prop on top of this slide that's full screen. But the prop doesn't go away when you click on the next slide, like you think it should. You actually have to add a cue that says clear prop to clear it away so you can now see that text on the next thing. And while we're talking about pictures, if you do have a slide that has a picture, again, make sure your audience look or your looks is set to slides after the picture. Because again, if it's set on blank, you the audience or the Ecamm will see the text full size. And so we do need to change the audience look for Ecamm after each and every picture that we have. All right, just want to go back and double check our producer checklist, make sure that we did cover everything. So here we have, again, we double checked our audience look. How do we add the audience look? How do we change the audience looks quickly and easily? Um, blank slides again I don't have the right words because again this is my personal computer I'm using um, and so I don't have all the right words used but the checklist is based off of the computer so you will see these things we know how to change our stage display I do remember uh, our next video will be about how to change audience looks and our screen displays quickly and easily if something goes wrong see you then